Hello everyone, my name is Andy. I'm an employee here at Daniel Carpenter Mustang. Been here for about eight years. Uh, glad you guys came. Um, we're gonna do a quick tour. If uh, you have any questions, please speak up, interrupt me. I won't be offended. Let's get moving. This is our, um, our packing and assembly department, as I said. This is Martha, this is Glenda. Martha's Hi. a relatively new one. She's uh, been here about six months. Today she's working on some uh, chrome pieces. And yesterday she was, uh, working on center console. So let's go this way. Question so far? And it goes on the shelf, has to go through this department. We check everything before it goes out. Both uh, finished and unfinished goods here. If it's below eye level, that's uh, finished. It can be pulled by our shippers and get it out the door. If it's above eye level, you'll see the bands and the plastic. That means it still needs to either get component parts put in, needs a quality control check, it needs to be bagged and tagged or all of the above. Make sure that errors are reduced as much as possible. Everything is computerized, obviously, by VIN number, um, so it really, we have to scan every part that goes out, so that eliminates the uh, problem of the, the wrong thing going out the door. We use the original four part numbers. All these codes on here mean things, like a C5ZZ's 1965 Mustang. What she's running today is this, and you see the logo for the original four tool, and this machine was actually owned by, well, Ford Motor Company still owns it, 45 year old. Uh, we call him Bradley. He's ornery, he's cantankerous, he's fickle. Um, today he's cooperating. He's putting out very good parts today. This is an insert that goes inside the actual product. Peggy's unloading one right now. This is the part has 14 cabins in it. So every kit has about 5 minutes prep time, about 10 minutes prep time. Gives us 14 cars. She'll run this for two or three days straight. That will keep us in stock for about six months. When she gets done, what she's pulling out are these. This is the final product. I am trimming. I'm the last person that sees these go out. Well, pretty much from production. So I have to make sure they're okay. They're not slipped. Sometimes I have to glue them, get all the excess rubber off. Okay, I'm taking the cap and I'm putting the emblem in here, placing it so it can get melted in. And then the first thing is going to heat it up so it can get soft and mush it. Right here, it's heating up. And then it's mashing over. Right ready. I'm just trimming a pre-mold as part of the extrusion will be added to it to make a door seal. Yeah. Like what be done on the what the lady down there is doing, it'll be done on that kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm just trimming. This part, free of air bubbles. Take the time. If we don't have it on, we can get like little air bubbles down in here or up in here. But if with the new gas is on, it makes a really pretty part. Everyone behind you is Mr. Carpenter. Say hello. Okay, then you can see it runs through this little die that shapes the rubber. And then as the rubber comes through the die, it makes the uh, weather strip. Okay, when it comes through that die, it's like bubble gum. So it has to go through a heat process. And it goes through this line, this curing line. And it's set forever. From Raw Stock, 5000 series aluminum. It's off the original four rollers. Use 
this is the finished product, okay. and this is after it comes off the road. Okay. And these are just some, several. How long before those dies have to get cleaned up? Uh, you talking about the roller dies? Yeah. Or, uh, probably every time they take them off, they clean them. It's a uh, Armco and um, and water. Spray it on here to keep the uh, the ends from from cracking or or from from splitting open. Just you spray them on every single piece that we do. You're able to buy these made in Taiwan sure. for twenty dollars a piece, and they don't look as nice. Our sale for um, about forty dollars a piece, but we sell a lot of them because there's a difference in the material and the details of the product. Actually, um, Orb Motor Company still owns the tooling, okay. so we pay them 10% of every oh. every That's part that we sell. We're actually going to make a running pony also to go in there. I just got the guys from Ford came to get, and he said, sure, go ahead and do it. Oh, that's the, 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 the plastic part of the windshield mold, right? This is the console. Console, yeah. The speaker grill, the 7986 coin tray. You can kind of see. Yeah, how it comes right off of there, and it, it starts with uh, pellets like this. The red is uh, highly concentrated, and when it gets hot and melts, it actually becomes this color right here. So we use a uh, high impact acrylic. One thing you don't see is you have to do all of this that goes right. inside of here before you get this separately, right? And, uh, all right, it's not big Somebody breaks in your car, they tear this up. <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, yeah, we started making these uh, two years ago. So that goes in there. Uh, 